Well, hello, hello, hello! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Crippin' Chicken, and you may mostly know me from playing Minecraft. Well, the videos on Minecraft uh, haven't been out for quite a while, as I've been going through some changes, and, well, my current gaming setup doesn't really allow me to play Minecraft or make videos. So, feeling the urge to continue on my continue my journey on my YouTube channel, I thought I'll play something else, which is less editing heavy and I can do it easily from my my laptop that my sister borrowed me. Thanks, Dot. <laughs> Yes, so we are playing Stardew Valley today. I did play the game before, it was a few years back, so it will be pretty much uh, learning all over for me. So, well, I think let's go ahead and let's get a new game started. Okay, we need to choose our character, which I think I'll be a female, as I am in real life. So, our skin color, let's choose something familiar. I do like purple, I do like green, <laughs> shall we make my, shall we? Make a little smurfette. Let's see. Oh, pale green. Looks slightly dead. Yep, that's my vibe. <laughs> okay, let's choose an eye color. Something greenish as well. Let's go more green. A bit more saturated. Yep, I think that's about right. Let's do the same for the hair. So we are a lot roughly over here. Slightly lighter. Yeah, this looks a little bit radioactive. What am I saying? I just li like plants. I'm a I'm a very green person. <laughs> okay, how about the hairstyle? What have we got here? Oh, that's quite cool. It's quite hard to... Quite hard to know what, what they meant, because the buns are kind of in different places. But alright. This looks like a helmet. I don't want to wear a helmet. Little ponytails, that's quite cool. A bun, well, this is pretty much what I wear every day, so maybe let's go for something slightly, slightly unusual. I like me a little bangs, my hair is impossible to grow her bangs, it's just too thin. Uh, is that another helmet? Oh, <laughs> that's also a bangs, but... Oh, I, I love long hair like that. Let's see what else. Oh, okay. Little Princess Leia style. Cool, like alienish Leia kind of thing. I can go with that. Okay, let's choose our shirt. Looks like a diamond armor. No Minecraft today. <laughs> Uh, okay, slightly offset. Uh, I think they meant a skull, but I actually see a cute little cat. I don't know what you guys see. But this is quite cute, like a like a classic jumper with one stripe in the middle. Is that a chicken? This could be a chicken. It could be mine. It's 
like a little skeleton thing. Yeah, it even has a little spine. Quite cool. A hoodie? Is it a hoodie or... Huh, maybe? It's like a Starry Night shirt. It's more like pajamas. I really think I I like the jumper the jumper that I first saw. Oh look, this one's cool as well. Okay, so that was number seven and now twenty-seven. Yeah, I think I'll go back to the twenty-seven. I really like that one. Okie dokie. Pants. Is this like shorts or yeah, that's shorts definitely. Um, uh, if you remember Doctor Who and Daleks, like this is what it reminds me of. <laughs> and this looks like a like a skirt. And I do think I really like that one. Pants color. And although it's a skirt, <laughs> they still call it pants. Okay, let's choose another green shade, maybe darker one this time. Yeah, I think this will do. Accessories! Oh, yeah! Beard, that's that's all I need. Uh, mustache? Cool, cool. But no thank you. Is that another type of mustache? Yes, just slightly longer ones. What else have we got? And... I'm kind of confused, like what this... What? Oh, okay, that's, that's like earrings. That's also something... It's really hard to say with some of those. Glasses, yeah. I like me some glasses. That's much too much makeup. Oh, this looks cool. I look like a little green nerd. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's about how I would look in real life. Okay, let's let's choose a name. Let's call ourselves Puny, like a puny little human. And our farm, our farm is going to be called Chill. Phil, because that's what we came here to do. Just chill. Favorite thing, huh? What's my favorite thing? I mean, I know what my favorite thing is, but it's not to be mentioned on a family-friendly channel. Um, let's say... Uh, blanket. Because I really like my blanket. Animal preference. Well, animal, in general, is my preference. What have we got? Some cats. Some doggies. I don't think I'll go with a dog. Let's choose this cute guy. Okie doke. I think our character is complete. Oh, and what's that? We can choose our starting farm. Okay, so standard farm, a simple plot of land with a large amount of open space to design your farm. Okay, sounds pretty standard. Riverland farm. Your farm is spread across several, several islands and, and scenic river, river banks. Fish are more common here than usual. I do like fishing in the game, but I don't think this will be a thing that I'll be doing all the time. So maybe let's focus on, on having farmland, because we can fish all over the map, as far as I can remember. Forest farm. The woods limit your farming space. However, 
The bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. I like that. I would actually like to live in a forest in the real life, so I think that might be my choice. Hilltop farm, rocky terrain, and a winding... Winding? Huh? I can read. Winding river make it difficult to design your farm. However, a mineral deposit provides mining opportunities. Uh, that wouldn't be that bad. Because as far as I remember, the only mining you can do in the game is in the in the mines. And they are a scary place. I'm sure to relax with no mobs, creepers, zombies and other mean things <laughs> going coming after me. So, um, maybe not this time. Wilderness farm. There's plenty of good land here, but beware. At night, the monsters come out. Well, that's that's what I was just saying. I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> Four Corners Farm. The land is divided into four parcels, each with its own perk. Perfect for a group. Well, I don't have a group, so we'll scrap this one as well. Beach Farm. Good foraging and fishing and tons of open space. Sometimes supply crates wash up on the shore, which is, oh, I think that would be nice. Maybe some unique items that, that we could gather. However, <laughs> Sprinklers don't work in the sandy soil. Well, neither the crops grow in the sandy soil, so... Yeah, I think I'm quite set on forest farm. So let's choose this one. Okie doke, any other options? Community center bundles. Okay. Normal or remixed? I'll go with normal because, as, as I said, I haven't played this game for many years and I don't even remember what normal was. Guarantee one year completable. Huh. Travel and merchant sells a cabbage seed sometime during the first year. Is red cabbage something, some specific crop that I should grow in order to, uh, I don't know, pass the game? I don't know, I don't think it was, there was such thing. Although I can see many changes in, in the game, so maybe I don't know something. Mine rewards, normal or remixed. Modifies the rewards that appear in the mines. Same thing, if I think I'll go with just vanilla, standard, normal. Okay, same thing, we'll, le we'll leave everything at normal. Multiplayer options, no, I don't have any friends. Uh, cabin layout, yeah, blah blah. Random seed, I didn't know you can have different seeds in this game. Okay, so basically that's our options here. Okay, so let's get the game started. Ooh. And for my very special granddaughter. Oh, that's granddad then. I want you to have the sealed envelope. Because everyone goes to sleep with an envelope in his hand. Okay. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. I have nothing by it but pa patience, Grandpa. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. That's... Uh, I, I'm already at this point. <laughs> And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Yep, you know me all too well, Grandpa. He has a nice interior there, there. I like, love his wallpaper. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Okay. Now let Grandpa rest. Twenty years later. Yeah, yeah. Join us, thrive, work, 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 work. Okay, so I guess this is where we work. 
You're with Yovia. Terminated. <laughs> this guy is, this guy seems to be taking much much too many pills. Oh, there's a Chihuahua working on this computer. Oh, and that's us. Okie doke. There's camera monitoring us. We seem to be very happy. And the guy on the far left, the far right, seems to uh, be what awaits us in the future. <laughs> oh, the letter. Let's see what did Grandpa wrote to us. Dear Pony, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature, so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to, the, to that place, my pride and joy, Chillville Farm, hey, that's our farm! It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Well, since I don't have any siblings or other relatives. Relatives. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Okay, Pa. What if it's not? Loading. Okay, we are driving a bus through some hills. Very nice view and the ocean in the far back. Looks pretty much like the place I would love to live in. Stardew Valley. We're almost there. Oh, and a bird is set on the sign. It probably pooped itself. That's an eerie sound. Hello, you must be Punny. I am. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. Here's, uh, he's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Okay, so everyone has, has access to my house, it seems. Okay. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Okay, Robin. Lead the way. Oh, what a nice little plot. I would love, love a cabin like this in real life. This is Chillville Farm. Yeah, I seem to be uh, thrilled. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath the ma that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Yeah, if I get a bulldozer, that is. And here we are, your new home. Oh, the new farmer. That's Lewis. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Hello, Lewis. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Okay, everyone's aware that I'm coming. Great. <laughs> it's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It seems so. It's a good house, very uh, rustic. You don't say. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty <laughs> might be a little more apt, though. 
rude <laughs> the reactions I love them don't listen don't listen to her punny she's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades oh she's a good salesman then that's yeah seems like I do need upgrades hmm <laughs> Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Okay. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, this all of a sudden became a bit creepy. Just an old guy going through my bin at night. Okay. Well, good luck. What now? Hey, Kakadoo! Right. So it's a new day. It's 6 a.m. We got some uh, w wiggling uh, exclamation mark, which means we probably ought to read that. Introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Or the new farmer might be anxious to meet new people. Two out of twenty-eight people greeted. Okie doke. We'll be meeting people. What's this? Do I click it? Nope, I just tried to exit, I guess. Alright. New journal entry. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Oh, thanks, Lewis. You old parsnip. <laughs> okay, plant this in the spring. Takes four days to mature. Okay, we'll do it right away, I guess. And we got a new quest. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Okay, cultivate and harvest a parsnip. What a coincidence! We just got some seeds for parsnips. Okie doke. What else is here? Okay, under the E key we have our... We have our character here. We are level, level zero newcomer. We need a hat. We need uh, two rings. I guess that's rings, not like potions or anything. And some boots. So we are only dressed in <laughs> in a shirt and a skirt. Okay. Skills. We don't have any. We can do farming, mining, foraging, fishing, combat. Combat. <laughs> I'm I'm a pacifist. <laughs> I don't like to fight. Social. Yes, we met Robin and Lewis, and all of these guys over here. They will soon become our friends, whether they want it or not. <laughs> yeah. A map. Okay, so that's where we are. That's our farm. Although it seems a little bit offset, because I'm over here at this hut, I guess, and not over here, but, well... Uh, okay, what else? Marnie's Ranch, Willow Lane, Willow Lane 2, Mayor's Manor, Graveyard, ooh, Saloon, ooh, open 12pm to 12am, okay. Pierre's general store, general store. Good, it's not it's not the specific store. Okay, do community center. Right, bus stop. Who we've already been there. All right, we ought to explore a little bit, I guess. 
Can we look out of the window? Nope, we cannot. What's on the telly? Select channel. Weather report. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source, source for weather, news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. That's just the weather I like. Okay, is this the whole weather? <laughs> okay. Fortune teller. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. <laughs> the spirits feel, feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Okay, we like neutral spirits. Not too strong, I mean. <laughs> Living of the land. Welcome to Living of the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. That's me. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Okay, will do. Okay, that's all. <laughs> okay, not too many channels. Can we light a fire? Yes, we can. You cozy. All right. Eh. Okay. <laughs> Let's leave it before I burn my house. All right. Okay, so we got our parsnips. And I guess we have an axe, a hoe, a watering can, a pickaxe, a scythe, and our seeds. Okay. I believe this was for cutting, yeah, greenery. And we got some fiber out of it. Yes, I love plants. Die. Die, you we weeds. Uh, I leave this tree for now. Okay, I guess we need to use an axe on the, on the woody bit, bits. Okay. And a stone. Boom, boom, boom. Well, if only farming was that easy in the real life. Ho. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, we have uh, 15 parsnips and some mixed seeds that we found. There's a little bit of everything here. Plant them and see what grows. Okay, so we have an extra one. So we need at least 16 fields for planting. So that's, that will make 15 and one extra. Yay, we are planting seeds. Okay, a watering can. Or a watering can. <laughs> We have our first crops planted. That's really cool. All right. What else? We got some wood and clay and stone. Do we have anywhere to put that? Not really. This means we only have four, three slots in the inventory left. That's probably not ideal, but well, let's go and explore a little bit. Okay, a sign. Um, we don't want to cut it. Okay, there's a bus stop and the Pelican Town is to the right. Let's see. Oh, that's the wild forage they will, they've been talking about. That's a daffodil. A traditional spring flower that makes a nice gift. Okay, maybe we can give it to, to someone. And make a friend. Our first friend. <laughs> that's dandelion. 
dandelion. Not the prettiest flower. Oh, I really like dandelions. They make a really good wine. <laughs> uh, not the prettiest flower, but the leaves make a good salad. That's I would agree with. Okay, nothing more in here. Look how cool I look. Okay, I think we have reached the town. Oh, a person! Hello! Harvey! It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Good, we have a doctor in town. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's a rewarding work. I bet, Harvey. Good for you. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Well, I really hope so too. Nice meeting you, Harvey. Maybe you would like a daffodil. That's such a nice gift. Thank you. Oh, Harvey liked it. Okay. A person! Hi, Marnie. Oh, I guess I'll take that. Oh, did I give her a stone? Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry. You've already given Marnie a gift today. Okay, I want to talk to Marnie. Okay. Oh, Major Lewis told me you're, you, you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello, Marnie. Sorry for the stone. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Oh, I definitely will, Marnie. Anything else that we can talk about? Not really. That's somebody's house. Can I come in? Huh? No, I can. Oh, I can look into their things. Or not. Oh, Super Fashion Girl magazine. Okay, I cannot read the magazine though. Oh, a person. Hi. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. That's Emily. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Oh, that's cool. I probably, probably will. I want to see this books of yours. Nope. <laughs> okay. Ooh. It's a globe. Hey, that, there's Stardew Valley. Cool. On a globe. <laughs> Must be quite big. You're not good friends enough with Haley to enter her bedroom. Well, I haven't met Haley. I wouldn't like to interrupt her in her bedroom for any reason. I cannot light a fire in in someone else's place. The oven smells sweet like fresh cupcakes. Ooh, where are the cupcakes? What's in your fridge? Cupcakes! <laughs> There's cupcakes! Milk! A tightly sealed jar of uh, cornichons and quinoa salad. Sounds quite tasty, to be honest. Ooh, a sewing room. I would like to have my own sewing room. What's that? An array of brightly col colored dyes. Okay, someone here likes to make colorful things. It's a sewing machine or sewing machine. But I'm not sure how to use it. Maybe I can learn? You're not good... Good enough friends with Emily to enter her bedroom. Well, doesn't seem I'm friends with anyone. Uh, not through here. I, I really like the furniture. I really like the style of this game. Oh, a bin. <laughs> I can go through people's bins. That's cool. Who lives here? Okay. A little table. Ooh, a radio. It's set to the news to the news station. Sadly, we cannot hear anything. Ooh, a letter. 
Can I read it? Oh, okay. Report card. Name, Vincent. Reading, C. Spelling, D. Math, C. Social studies, B. Art, B. Sports, A. Well, he's good at something. Note, Vince is a good boy, but he could make... He could make do. Okay, but he could make do with a little more studying. Penny. Okay, so Penny is a local teacher. You're not good friend, uh, good enough friends with Vincent to enter his bedroom. Okay, I'm guessing that's that's all. Locked bedrooms. What's in your fridge? Eggs, bread, carrots, and milk. Oh, I can look into your bin. It's empty. Well. <laughs> At least they take their they, they are taking their trash out. Okay, what can we do here in this town? Oh hi. Oh that's Vincent. Oh a stranger. My name's Vincent. Hello Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Well that's how all the stranger strangers look like. Can you tell me anything else? No. Hello. Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined. How did you imagine me? But that's okay. I'm Jody. Hello, Jody. You're not how I imagined you. I didn't imagine you at all, to be honest. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. I'll try my best. Carolyn. Hello, you must be Pony, the new farmer. I'm Carolyn. Hello, Carolyn. My husband runs a, runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? No, I did not. She's the pale one with the purple hair. Well, sounds like someone I could be friends with. Okay, that's Emily. We all already met her. Hello, who are you? Can I talk with you? Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. She's, she, she seems really lovely. Her name's Evelyn. You can call me Granny. Oh, if you like. I would love to, Evelyn. Granny. Hello. Oh, I can sit next to you. But I cannot talk to you when I'm sitting. Ah, that's weird. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Yep. Maru. Or Meru. Or how do you pronounce her name? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, well, that's nice. Uh, I just wanted to... S uh, to... S her? <laughs> I'm not a green reaper, I'm, I, I promise. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the communi community dynamic. It's exciting. Oh, thank you. Hello, person. Hi. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Oh, it's you, the teacher. Uh, and that's all you have to say. Well, there are not all that talkative, the, the villagers here. And that's the graveyard. Ooh. Oh, we can read some headstones. Uh, it's old and faded. Okay. Our beloved Mona. Oh, that's Lewis. Una dunyu do pustuns naus up hump. Whatever. Oh, another, another daffodil. Oh, and there's a person on the bridge. Hello, handsome. Oh, Elliot. Oh, the new farmer we've all been expecting. 
and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. Okay, well, people are talking about me. I don't don't know if I'm feeling good about that. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. That sounds lovely. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Elliot. All right. Is there anyone else that we didn't meet? seashells hello clam okay I, I have no more space in my inventory okay so is this where Elliot lives yes it's locked only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited and what's that Hmm. with 300 pieces of wood this could be fixed okay I have uh, four pieces of wood I'm on a good track Okay, more clams. Okay, we got two of them. I don't even know why I'm collecting them, but I'm sure they'll, they'll come handy. Fish. Yes. Gone fishing. Well, <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, so the shop seems to be closed today. And it's already 6 p.m. Wow, the time flies in this world. Uh, is that the lonely rock that that I had on my map? Might be. Oh, and here the world ends. What's that? I guess nothing for now. All right. I think that's that's it for this location. Hello, any more people to meet? What's that? Closed until summer. Okay, I guess it's spring. Hello, person. Hi, friend. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Clint. Hello, Clint. Nice beard. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay, Clint, I'll be in touch. Would you like a daffodil? Thanks. And this is... what's that? Archaeology office, open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, I guess we are late. Yep, it's locked. We'll come back tomorrow, maybe. Ooh, a mailbox. It shows a hand, so I could probably like use it, but... Oh, that's blacksmith, I think. And Clint just went away, so it's locked. Anything here? Oh, the night falls, 8 p.m. <laughs> Hioya Market still operates. Hello, smiling guy. Weirdo. Morris, welcome to Yoya Mart. How are you doing today? Well, great, I guess. I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Yoya Customer Satisfaction Representative. Okay, Customer Satisfaction Representative. Okay. When you decide you want to become a Yoya member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience transition. Okay. Okay, I think you're just repeating yourself. Oh no, that's the new one. We're currently in the process of setting up a brand new membership system for our customers. Please check back soon to join. I'm not sure I want to join. I just left your company, remember? Okay, so that's that's all the same. Nothing we can do here cornflower pasta in a can vacuum sealed marinated mushrooms okay they seem to have all sorts of things in here but i have a feeling that they are the the, the bad people in this game <laughs> terminated a cashier Okay, we can buy Yoya Cola for 75 gold. Okay. 
Yoya Cola la Light? What's that? Is this like a... Oh, that's a furniture. Can be placed inside your house for only 500 gold. Yep. Okay, I think it's getting quite quite late. We should be going back home, I guess, but trying to find my way first. What's here? No, we cannot go up there. Is this something can pick up? No. Oh, more daffodils. Yeah, let's pick all the daffodils. Locked. Everything is locked. Help wanted. Nothing is posted today. Okay, so that's some kind of like a quest board or something. Oh, and a calendar. Okay. So that's first day of spring. Year one. We have some birthdays here. Louis' birthday is coming up. And Vincent's. And that's the egg festival. I wonder, are we going to be looking for eggs? Flower dance? Okay. Right, I think. Okay, oh, so the saloon. I think the saloon is still open. Yep, the saloon is open. Okay, we got some people we haven't met yet. Uh, I don't think I'll be spending all my money on beer. Or food. Or coffee. So no thanks, I'm... It seems I'm too poor to buy anything. Hey kid! The name's Pam. Hello Pam, nice makeup. Nothing like a sip, all the good stuff to warm these old bones. Yeah, well, have fun, Pam. You seem to be repeating yourself a lot. Hi. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Hello, Gus. Nice to meet you. Good evening. Can I get you anything? Well, considering your prices, I, I doubt you can. Hi, Emily. We already spoken. You don't want to speak with me again. Okay, fair enough. Clint. Oh, someone new. Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Well, because I don't know you and maybe I wanted to meet you. Okay, he doesn't want to talk with me. Okay, some arcade yoya everywhere. Okay, it's 11 p.m. and as far as I remember, I should be in bed by 12. Otherwise, weird things happen. So let's go straight home. I guess that's the right way. quite dark around here. Okay, we got some things that I don't think I will be using tomorrow, so let's put those... Uh, how do I do it? Just throw it? Yeah, just throw it in there. So we got some clams, dandelions, daffodils. I'll keep the wood and other materials. Uh-oh. Twelve. I need to go to bed. Go to sleep for the night. Okay, so it's 12.10, so what time do I need to be in bed? Okay, go to sleep for the night. Yes! That was a long day. We met so many lovely people. We're in a new town. I believe we are quite tired. Day one of spring, year one. Okay, how much did we earn? Um... We only got money for for the clams. Or did we get something? Yes, we got something for dandelions. That was 40 gold. Three daffodils was 90 gold. So dandelions, as I said, aren't the most ugly, 
ugly flower. They are actually more expensive to, than daffodils. Uh, which is great. Okay, two clams. So a clam was 50 gold each. Dandelion 40. So clams are so far the most profitable uh, forage item that we got. Okay. Okay, guys, this is day two. And I think this video is getting quite long, so I think I'll leave it here for for today's episode. Well, I hope you like the new content. I hope you like the game. And I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to leave a like to show me if you're interested in, in watching Stardew Valley. And as for Minecraft episodes, they will be back. I still love Minecraft and want to do, do vi Minecraft videos. It's just not the best time for me to do so. But they will be back, hopefully, this year. Maybe second half of the year. Well, we'll see. But, well, for today, I'll say goodbye. And... I hope to see you in the next episode of Stardew Valley. Well, bye!